Race number two on the program belongs to the Wendy Whitehead runner, Beachamwood Boy. Keegan DeMillo aboard and this four-year-old son of Eightfold Path has got the job done and uh, recorded his third career victory. Well done to the winning groom, Ayanda, who receives 1,000 Rand on behalf of Hollywood Bets and Gold Circle. Very well done to you, Ayanda. Excellent job. Well done. Let's get um, Keegan DeMillo in. And uh, Keegan has a good strike rate whenever he teams up with Wendy. It's now, what, 11 rides, 5 wins, so uh, you're keeping that track rate going and uh, obviously thank you for your transparency about this, uh, this horse. What a nice race today. Yes, look, um, as I said to Mr. Lemferno, obviously I, I was confident that he would run a good race and um, the horse that would beat him would win the race and uh, I'm just glad this horse has come through. He's, he's got his quirks but uh, he's doing a lot of things right at the moment. Serino seemed to track your every move and uh, when he went for the run I thought he was going to go past you but your horse found more. Yes, I always thought the race would plan out that way, you know, and uh, Serena obviously had a nice lead and it was a matter of if the horse was good enough to get past me and uh, I think this horse is just on the improve. He's obviously, like I said, he's got his quirks and he's getting over them, so with a bit more luck, um, you'll see a lot more improvement and uh, he'll go through the divisions, this horse. He's obviously notched up his third win over 1,200. Do you think possibly his best trip or 14 wouldn't be an issue? Look, I don't think I've run him enough to give that comment, but... Uh, He's obviously run well around the turn, um, like, like I said, he's, he's got his problems, so when he does things right, you see the best version of him, and uh, I don't see why he won't get a 14, he gives you that sort of field, he switches off and he's got a nice turn of foot, and I'm sure Wendy will have a nice plan with him going forward, and uh, hopefully I can be a part of it. Obviously you went through your comments with Warren, just one horse that uh, I think you guys must out, Avani King? Yeah, if it's not his day today, I don't think he'll win a race, but... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Sad to say that, but um, I think it's the right sort of race for him to get away with today. He's got a nice draw, and uh, yeah, I think it's his, probably his right trip. And uh, I think if things go his way, he's probably the horse to beat. And if not, uh, he'll probably run second. Well, you've given your supporters a lot more confidence now. Yeah, let's hope so. We, we, we try to help wherever we can. Look, obviously we can't get it right all the time, but um, where we can help, we always try. And uh, whilst I'm here, just well done to Mr. Sharkey. And uh, well done to Mr. Gibson and his family. Thank you very much for the opportunities. And uh, Mr. Sienna as well. Well done to them. And uh, thanks very much to Wendy and her team. Big supporters of mine at the moment. And I'm just truly grateful for the opportunities. And uh, to my sponsors, Winning Form, thank you very much. Excellent, Keegan. Thank you. Let's get uh, Wendy Whitehead in. And uh, yeah, she's having a good uh, trot at the moment. Well done, Wendy. Stable's in some good form. Runners come to the race courses uh, in good form. And uh, they're always in a good space. And a uh, Peachamwood boy, nice win today. Very nice win today. I'm so chuffed with him. He's such a quirky little fella. Um, I just said to Keegs, he came in without an extra. I was like, oh, Keegs, you don't know him. But uh, he rode an absolute master of a race on the horse today. Well done to him. Uh, well done to Peter Gibson overseas in the UK. Yeah, uh, Mr. Gibson, his, uh, Tom's here. Um, Michael Cinema and um, Sharky, Matt, Matt Sharky. Uh, well done here. Um, he, he really ran a nice race today and I don't think he's going to stop here. He's quite immature, this horse, and I think as we go along with him in his career, he'll just get better and better. Galdin has certainly done the trick with him. Absolutely. You know, he's, he's, he's quite a strong horse. I don't know if you noticed, he's a, a proper little sprinter, this horse, and uh, it trimmed him up, but it also sorted his mind out. Well done, Wendy. Thank you so much. Well done on the victory. Good to have you on course today. Thank you very much. Uh, quite an amazing day for me. Uh, I didn't think that uh, I would be lasting so long to be leading in horses, you know. And I have my grandson with me. He's going to continue. Uh, well, I hope so. We're talking him into taking a share. <laughs> and uh, his father in, in uh, England is Peter Gibson. And uh, he'll be delighted at this, whatever happened. And Wendy, outstanding trainer. Absolutely, and I'm glad he's won a race for you, and I'm glad that uh, you managed to uh, lead him in today, and uh, all the best going forward with him. Well done. Cheers, thank you very much. I would just like to say on behalf of my father, uh, this is a very special horse to us. It's named after our beach cottage in the Transkar, just past Cobber Inn. So it's very special to us. He's had the honor of going there since the 70s, and I've had had the honor of being there my entire life, so thanks very much. You've got to continue the tradition, grandfather, dad, and now you. Yeah, we'll, we'll chat about that. I'm sure, I'm sure I'll get roped into a little share down the line. <laughs> Excellent stuff, guys. All the best. All right, thank yeah. you. Well done. Uh, well done to the winning owners. Uh, well done to uh, Wendy Whitehead and well done uh, to Keegan DeMello. It's a quick double on the day for him. Beachamwood Boy, your winner of race number two.